The drivers are now in their race positions under somewhat rainy skies. Let's take a look at the Alpine. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? And here's the second Alpine. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Everything's been building to this. The drivers are warmed up. They're ready to go here at the Japanese Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Push, push. Okay, you can speed up, please, speed up. McLaren, gain a position! Okay, uh, we'd like you to slow down, please. Sounds like someone's gone wide there. Let's see what happened there. Now just take a look at the McLaren. They're forced wide and they won't be happy at all about that. We've just had a car run wide. We can take a look now. Now we see the Williams here. And they've gone wide, very wide. That's not... Look at that! They've run wide! Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. And they've gone wide, way wide. There's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. Let's have a look. Now look at this, it was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. That crash is terrible news for the team. Oh, did someone run wide there? A couple of cars off there. just crashed. Here's the replay. Now just focus on the Haas. You can clearly see the con 
contact there, and that caused a lot of damage. just had a crash on the track. Let's take a closer look. We're just watching the Red Bull. And that's an off, and a big off. Someone's run wide. Now we see the Williams here. They go wide right off the racing line. place. Now just watch the Mercedes here. been a lock-up. Ferrari, advance the race position. Who's running wide there? And we are boxing this lap. I think someone's run wide. Oh, they've run wide!
Sounds like there's been a crash. We can take a look now. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. They've lost control, and there's the crash. I think that was a crash. Let's see what happened there. Now just take a look at the McLaren. And there we see the crash. Alpine just advanced. Let's have a look. OK, so there we have the Alpine. <laughs> Moving up a place there. Excellent work from them. I think it's safe to say that went down well with the team. Was that a lock-up on the track? That's a good overtake from Alpine. Here's the replay. OK, so there we have the Alpine. And they clear it. Big move for them and a race position gained. That was a big moment. The team are clearly delighted. Let's take a look at the replay. OK, so there we have the LP. Goodness me, there they go, moving ahead of the other driver. Maybe drop back a little bit, please. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. They've lost control and spun! Push, come on. Let's take a closer look. Now just focus on the Haas. That looked like a very nasty spin. I think we've had a car run wide. Box, box, box. Box, 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 box.
work back up. Okay, uh, we'd like you to slow down, please. Okay, you can speed up, please, speed up. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Is that a new race position for Haas? Position gained for Alfa Romeo. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We've just had a spin. See what happened there. We're just watching the Red Bull. And there's the collision. It's caused out.
Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Just advanced. Let's pick our pace up. Let's go. No lift and coast required from our side at the moment. to go. No more rain from what we can see. Keep us updated on track condition, please. Last lap, last lap. Alpine driver with a pretty good drive today. 
this wasn't bad at all from Alpine. Now the question is, how can they make it better next time? They've displayed some moments of quality here. All they need now is some fine tuning to achieve great things. They end this weekend in fifth place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, we'll be crossing the pond all the way to Texas 